Well, can Brian Burke put Humpty Dumpty back together again? In other words, his roster? Well, the, number one, the first thing that, uh, before we say who he can get, I'll tell you who he's not going to get. There's all these wishful thinkers out there that think that, hey, maybe Roberto Luongo will be traded to the Leafs, maybe Corey Schneider will be traded to the Leafs. If you know how much these two organizations hate each other, okay, the Vancouver Canucks are not going to trade either one of these guys to the Toronto Maple Leafs, so they'll have to look elsewhere. Um, one interesting thing, we hear a lot about Rick Nash. I think guys that, yes, they will look into the Rick Nash thing, but I think another place that they will look is Anaheim with Bobby Ryan. I know management wasn't happy with the way that he played there this year, and I would not be surprised, given the ties that Burke has and Randy Carlisle has, that they're going to look into that again and see if they can get Bobby Ryan out of Anaheim. You know, the one thing I would say, and I know this isn't a forum to be an apologist for Brian Burke, but the way, the way things have worked out, every trade deadline almost and every free agency period, there just hasn't been a whole lot out, out there. And that must frustrate him immensely because he, he's a guy as a general manager who loves and has made a career on making the big splash. And he just hasn't been able to do it. Last year it was Brad Richards, but Brad Richards was never coming here. I mean, the Leafs went through the motion of, of, of making an offer to him, but he was going to New York and, and everybody knew that. But at the trade deadlines and in the free agency during the Brian Burke period here of the Maple Leafs, the shopping uh, shelves haven't been as, uh, as full as, as he would have liked, and, and I think it's hampered him uh, to be able to make that splash that he, uh, that he likes so much. What do you think, Terry? Well, I, I think the biggest challenge for Brian Burke in his three and a half years as GM of the Maple Leafs comes now because essentially if, he, if, he, if the Leafs finish out of the playoffs again, he'll be gone. He has one year to get this right. He has this offseason to get it right. And he's got to overhaul probably about six or seven players on this roster. Not a lot out there. Uh, you know, Zai's mentioned Vancouver as being a training partner that just won't happen. Well, he's not a very popular guy at board meetings either <laughs> among his fellow GMs. That's why David Nonis does a lot of that work. So, you know, there are plenty of challenges for Brian Burke ahead. There's not a lot out there free agency-wise. Trade market, who knows? Maybe you trade your, your, your uh, first-round pick again. I think Leafs Nation would go crazy if he did that. But, uh, you know... For almost four years here as GM, and uh, this is going to be his biggest challenge. Yes. Well, not only is there not a lot out there, as we've all mentioned, uh, you know, those that are out there, are they going to want to come to Toronto and right. know that they're going to be part of a long, long rebuild here and playing for uh, for Brian Burke and, you know, playing maybe in a spot where they're not uh, going to be comfortable? And I don't think the Maple Leafs, who might be, uh, you know, maybe they're not trading, playing to have themselves traded out of here, but there's not going to be a lot of demand for a lot of these right. Maple Leafs with the big contracts that uh, they're saddled with uh, in the Burke year. So he may wind up just having to go with what he has and hoping that Carlisle, uh, again, getting back to what we are saying earlier, maybe Carlisle somehow forges an eighth-place team out of what he has now. But at this stage, I think it's going to be uh, a long summer for the Maple Leafs, that's for sure.